Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today we have some important things to discuss in the realm of jailbreaking, specifically where iOS 10 and iOS 9.3.5 are concerned. Now, down below in the description, there's going to be a table of contents that will allow you to skip to the 9.3.5 section if you're only interested in the latest public firmware. However, iOS 10 is definitely more relevant, and it's going to be more interesting to see what happens with that release because it is so very close. Also, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and share it around if you're so excited for the next untethered jailbreak. Guys, Pangu has been killing it lately and there is going to be a new jailbreak relatively soon. Let's get into that and also discuss how we know we can expect a new jailbreak again in the foreseeable future. Of course, first of all, talking about iOS 10 because again, that's going to be the most relevant of the two firmwares between 10 and 9.3.5. And the reason for that is because again, it is going to be released extremely soon. So based on years past, Apple always issues new iOS versions two days prior to the release of the next gen iPhone. Now, as many of you know, the iPhone 7 is going to be announced on the 7th. So in just a few very short days, be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name. That way you guys will not miss out on anything related to the event, specifically where the iPhone 7 is concerned. And of course, my live coverage on the event itself. But anyway, the iPhone 7 is going to be unveiled on the 7th and Apple usually releases new iPhone models the following Friday after they're announced, which would put the iPhone 7's release date on September 16th. Now remember, new iOS versions usually drop two days before the next iPhone, so that means iOS 10's public release will likely fall on September 14th, again, based on what Apple has done in years past. Almost every single year, they follow that exact same basic schedule. So what can we expect from jailbreaking, specifically where iOS 10's concerned? Well, just like we dissected iOS 10's possible public release, let's try to do the same thing for the next jailbreak, again, likely from Pang. So first of all, let's go back two years for iOS 8, right after Pangu entered the jailbreak scene, after their iOS 7.1.x jailbreak utility, the first one that they ever released, dropped. So this was really the first time that Pangu was around for the initial release of a major iOS version, again, iOS 8. Eight. Guys, I can't believe it's been two years since iOS 8 was released. That's absolutely insane. Huge thumbs up if you remember iOS 8's release. But anyway, iOS 8 was issued to the general public on September 17th. And guess what? Just over a month later, the first jailbreak was released by, guess who? Pangu on October 22nd, 2014. And it was actually issued for iOS 8.1, believe it or not, because Apple was so quick to release 8.1 during the days of 8.x that Pangu decided to hold off until they issued 8.1. But at any rate, guys, that was only just over a month. And guess what? The exact same thing happened for iOS 9. So we can kind of start to see a pattern emerging here. Pangu likes to drop the first jailbreak for any major iOS version about one month after its release. Of course, iOS 9 was released on September 16th, 2015, and the first jailbreak for iOS 9.0.2 dropped on October 14th, 2015. So again, guys, from September 16th, to October 14th. Now that's less than a month. That exact same thing could happen this time around, but we should expand our time frame and what we expect from the group out to about a month and a half from iOS 10's public release, which again should be on September 14th. Anyway, you slice it though, guys, we should have a brand new iOS 10 jailbreak by the end of October. How exciting is that? I am super pumped for a brand new jailbreak, especially for iOS 10 and the iPhone 7. I'm really excited to get my hands on one and release all my video coverage on the device for you guys. But that's another story. And see, I'm even more confident this year that Pangu will be able to release an iOS 10 jailbreak about a month following the initial version of iOS 10.0 because this year's new major release wasn't like last year's being iOS 9.0 in the sense that it featured brand new and breaking security improvements. Remember, iOS 9 touted what Apple dubbed rootless security, and we can see how rootless that really was. Of course, rootless didn't translate into not being able to achieve root access. I did so many videos covering the rootless security precautions and measures that Apple actually implemented into iOS 9, but at any rate, there are no major security changes to iOS, at least at a deep level like rootless was. 
as far as we're aware of. And of course, what even bodes better for jailbreaking and for the case that we will receive a jailbreak sooner for iOS 10 rather than later is the fact that Pangu already demonstrated an iOS 10 jailbreak. Now granted, this was for the first beta of iOS 10. However, of course, it's still going to be possible to jailbreak iOS 10. While they almost certainly won't be able to use the same exploits they utilized to jailbreak iOS 10 beta 1 at MOSEC or the Mobile Security Conference 2016, which was held on July 1st, I'm definitely confident that like always, they have something else up their sleeve. So as you can see here, just through these images on the official MOSEC Weibo account, that Pangu was able to jailbreak iOS 10, and they actually showed it during their keynote presentation at the event here. Of course, this is an iPhone on iOS 10 beta 1 fully jailbroken. So guys, that just furthers the case that there is going to be an iOS 10 jailbreak. And as for those of you who mention I hate Snow's iOS 10 jailbreak, we can't really expect anything from that. See, he released his jailbreak demonstration on a 32-bit iPhone because I hate Snow has a private and permanent 32-bit iBoot-based jailbreak. Everything you you need to know about that is detailed in this video. I will have it linked down below in the description. Be sure to check it out if you're at all interested in I Hate Snow's private jailbreak. He likely won't release it until it's no longer useful to him, if ever. So don't expect anything from that. Remember, that would be exclusive to 32-bit devices if it ever saw the light of day, but the chances of that happening are slim to none. Really, what I see as being one of the only major hurdles here is, in fact, the next generation iPhone 7, because it is going to be powered by a brand new A10 CPU. You, so Pangu will need to get their hands on the brand new iPhone with the latest chip from Apple in order to fully test things, of course, and update what they've been working on, because there's no doubt in my mind that, of course, they have been working on a jailbreak throughout all of these iOS 10 beta releases, of course, beta 8 being the latest one as of recording today's video. Now, very quickly, let's talk about iOS 9.3.5. Not much has gone on in the realm of jailbreaking since iOS 9.3.4 was released, which, of course, patched the iOS 9.3.5. 3.x Pangu jailbreak utility, except there was one purported jailbreak demonstration from who is allegedly an Alibaba security researcher for iOS and Android. He claimed to have had a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.4. Of course, as I said in my video coverage on it, there's absolutely no way for us to know for certain, and we won't know for sure until he actually releases something, if he ever does. So at this point, it seems less likely that he ever had plans to release anything again, if it ever functioned. However, hypothetically speaking, if it did exist, it might still work on iOS 9.3.5. But don't get your hopes up, guys. Everyone's going to start turning their attention toward iOS 10. Remember, 9.3.5 featured three vulnerability fixes over iOS 9.3.4 even. It actually addressed a silent jailbreak, which installed malware, so to speak, on devices. I created an in-depth video covering that, which of course will be linked down below in your descriptions if you're at all curious about that. But the chances of an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak are very, very slim. And as far as 32-bit devices go, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, and we don't know whether Pangu will actually focus on trying to discover exploitable vulnerabilities that would would work on both 32-bit and 64-bit devices. Of course, I will keep you guys covered on absolutely everything you need to know. Again, just be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter for even more updates. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.